long, long ago, so long ago, few only can say how long ago. When I was a naughty in the nut, when I was bold from the blue, in the year 1953, I attained the age to start my schooling in the democratic India. I was three in height and five in age. My grandfather, Rangaswami Chetiar, the Pachari II, was born in 1904 amidst British administrators. Pachari II was rich enough to inherit a coconut farm of 50 acres and fairly large share of land holding tiled and mud houses. Nearly 20 in number. In my birthplace at Gudiyattam, located at 145 kilometers from Chennai. My father, Srinivasan Pachari, was an ardent student from the Madanapalli College with uh, intermediate qualification. The Madanapalli College was in Madras province, the combined state of the present Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka. My father, the Pachari third, was selected to work as a Sarishtadar in a court in the year around 1940. But my grandfather stopped my father, the Pachari third, from serving the government, the partly British-dominated Indian colony. I used to keep mum when my father kept weeping before my grandfather in not allowing him to take the post of Sarishtadar with the option to serve as a magistrate in the Indian Railways in the year 1950. As a Pachari fourth, I, at the age of five, thought of hitting my grandfather when he prevented my father from taking the post of Sharistadar in the year 1950. My father Pachari, the second, was an ardent speaker in English and composer of poems with an intermediate degree from Madanapalli College. In the year 1952, when I was five before him, he spoke on many subjects of valor of Alexander the Great, Napoleon Bonaparte, and other warriors. He used to speak to me in English, all in our closed room. One of the poems he taught me when I was five is the yoga poem. Daddy said unto me when I was five before him, hear nothing louder what others say, say something what others haven't. Hear everything in silence, my child. Follow my yoga, nothing else. When at twenty, mind your A's and D's. A is the apple and D is the drug. Live the life of an apple, but not of the drug. Teach your heart and the brain. Reach my yoga and nothing else. Say everything about the active days, but not about the drug man's gold in the land to one that you caused in birth. With them rejoice everything at rest. Bequeath yoga and nothing else. For you to live long and hay. With the pompous work in your child. And the sweet in your smile. Crush the pride with grace in defeat. Do out the pain in yoga and nothing else. When old and left alone, hear my soul in yoga. Reach the soul of mom at rest. 
Mom is golden world within your blood. Reach your child with mom and dad. Reach your yoga and nothing else. When death is nearing your door, fill my soul in mom apart from the grave. For God is leaving you and us. Bid goodbye to mom, dad and the child. But plant is yoga and nothing else.